Hello everyone, my name's Batstorm, and this is the very definition of an info dump. Before we get into the meat of today's video, there are three things I'd like y'all to be aware of. Number one, there is some lost footage, so some of my ramblings might not match up with the timber being drawn. Two, I talk about all these guys as if they're separate entities because they are to me. And three, I do not have the time or money to read all of the Legion comics, so some of my perceptions of the comic designs are a mix of internet surfing and my own personal head cannons. Take the things I say with a heap of salt. Also, I nicknamed them to keep everything neat. Old Guy is the name I gave to, well, the old guy. He's not the oldest Timber, I think that title goes to this dweeb, but this version came around in the 1970s Superboy run. He lasted about 10 years until this version took over, which, get it, I guess. The next closest in age was uh, Fluff Hair, which I did not record at all. As mentioned before, I haven't read the Legion comics, so I don't know much about this guy, but the general vibe I get from him is a grumpy old man, hence the nickname. Uh, fun fact for those who don't know, while a lot of people think that Timbit is a DC knockoff of Wolverine, this version debuted a whole year before him. Something I found in my research that I think is kind of ridiculous is that uh, one of the guys who worked on the previously mentioned Superboy comic, Dave Cockrum, also worked on a lot of X-Men stuff, and he was in charge of making villains for the Superboy run, and one of them was a, not a copy, but like a foil for Timby, and his name was Wolverine. Well, he pitched that idea to Roy Thomas. Roy Thomas telephoned it to one of Wolverine's creators, and as a result, Dave Cockrum did not care for Wolverine for a long while because of that whole shindig. Next up in line is Puppyface, which I made a massive mistake in naming. He first showed up in either 2019 or 2020, and is the second newest of Timber's iterations overall, but I think he's the newest as of the comics.
I say I made a mistake because the first pick I found of this man was, uh, this thing? But the very next one was this, which rubbed me in ten different wrong directions. I... I do not care for whatever is going on with him in this version. So, despite how much I don't like his characterization, he probably has one of my favorite designs next to Leather Jacket and Cartoon. So, I guess I could forgive some of his sins. Except for the rigid armor bits. I hate the rigid armor bits! So, if the internet serves me right, Bucky came into play soon after Leather Jacket's retirement with the new 52 Legion Lost comic, which was cancelled 16 issues later. I'll be honest with you, I was not vibing with this one. I don't know if it was the hand or the face, but I ended up redoing his sketch and then leaving him alone and circling back at the end. In all honesty, I was gonna give up and do one of the other versions, but me and my buddy really liked his outfit. Uh, putting my friend on blast here for a second, the same one that gave me the idea for this thing. I said exactly one thing about him having leather pants, and she got so excited about it, I swear I almost got Bart Simpson strangled.
I know less about this version than the others, and the internet refused to give up its secrets, so this entire character, to me, is now Bucky, but more feral. Also, I think this one could apparently shoot his claws like projectiles? And all I can think about that is just... So, next up is this guy, Leather Jacket, horrible name, I know, and he rings in the 2000s for timber designs. Him and Cartoon existed in about the same time period near the end, both of them petering off about a year from each other, but uh, still separate. When I tell you, I started squeaking when I saw this man. I am not kidding. I love everything about him. What I've seen about his story, the whole look, his bad guy with a heart of gold vibe. To me, this man and cartoon is the epitome of what Timber should be. Blue Beetle Cat is courtesy of Cheesters, Mother Pants friend. She doodled it and it kind of stuck. Fun fact, I didn't find out until I started this script, and I'm still testing the validity of. This man apparently had a speedrun enemies to lovers poly relationship with Ultra Boy and Phantom, and I think is the cause for this absolutely adorable comic panel of him with Ultra Boy and Phantom's kid. So, old guy's successor got no screen time. I turned off the camera to give my computer a rest, and then drew the entirety of him because I was bored. Came around in 85, and I also know close to nothing about him. Almost ended up giving him a white streak in his hair, because I love that detail they keep giving him, and I thought he had one. But the photo was just pixelated to heck, and it was his forehead.
So, Logan-wise, as far as I can find, the 2010-2011 in-between space between Leather Jacket and Bucky. And he's in the comic run where Saturn and Lightning have kids? That's all I have on him, so if anybody has more on him, or legit any of them, please feel free to let me know. Of all the things they don't keep consistent about Timber, his insignia, his ears, everything about his hair, including that little white bit, I question why the one constant is his killer eyeliner. I'm not complaining about it, it's glorious, but it's the weirdest little thing when they can't even decide on whether he has claws or not, but they just, yeah, he needs some eyeliner. Next up in mind is Villain, and no matter how much I want to tell you everything about this man, I gotta save most of his story for the Wolf series. Uh, shameless self-promotion if you're interested, here's a link to Masochism Tango. So, Villain is part of an AU I created in a cold sweat last month based off of the cartoon origins and the singular question of what if Mar got what he wanted? Short answer, a feral, blood-hungry guy with the memory of a parental locked browser history and the motivation of that dog that traveled cross-country to bite its old owners. Long answer is a seven or eight part series because I love stabbing myself in the foot. This is another one that my friends immediately started simping after, uh, Cheesters. 
was because of that frame of Mouse Cousin Tango where he licked his lips. And the other was from how I drew him here. I'm not gonna lie, I'm unapologetic and how down bad I am for this man too. Excuse me one second. Ah! Okay, I'm back. Words cannot express how much I despise this movie and everything about about it. Bar Invisible Kid and Shadow Last, they were perfect. This movie was nothing short of pain for me. I refuse to watch it again to get a second feel for Timbit's attitude, but from what I remember, it was not great. Legit, the only reason I drew him was because the movie's new, and I didn't know about this emo boy yet. Even with that trash and the world, and it is trash, you cannot convince me otherwise, I'm holding out hope that things might get better. I know there was talk for a while about a show being set along with the movie for this year, but I can't find anything new on that, so, uh... Proper platform might have quietly cancelled that. And now we come to the guy that started it all. My OG 2006 Cartoon Timber. I decided to go with his first season design for this, mostly because that's the only one I knew for the first 13 or so years of my life. Yeah, we only had the disc for the first four episodes, and all I would do was watch those four episodes, so when I finally rediscovered this show and watched the entire thing, I was shocked. Mullet Man Lightning still blindsides me. And, you know, makes sense to start at the beginning. So for how much I love this version, the one thing I did not care for is that they had a whole thing with trying to scoot him towards uh, some of the other Legionnaires, specifically Phantom and Saturn. I love both of those girls separately, neither of them worked well with him.
thankfully on that front it never really got far though i feel like if they had been given more time and they'd shoved him towards saturn it would have become a whole thing with him and lightning just going after each other to impress her and i've always kind of seen that timber and that phantom as siblings in the way that they act with each other so it doubly does not work with them but i'm glad that whole crap died out Unrelated, but the way he canonically sits in chairs in that show just makes me crack up. Man is seven foot six, and he scrunches into a little ball. He's also canonically a freaking nerd that just sits there and watches cop shows. I swear to God, how do you know what a stakeout is, but you don't know what chess is? Finally, at long last, we reach the end with Almost Furball, a one-off version of Timmy from the 90s. originally because I've actually read a bit of this series and you know he looks cool and he stayed for the same reason also friend reasons too uh Cheester and Skeetle were simping I'm not gonna lie I was simping too we're moving on now Furby feels like he acts the way Puppy should have. From what I've read, he's he's dying, first off, I think. Uh, but he's constantly fighting his non-human side to stay sane and human. But instead of taking it out on his companions, or just being an unapologetic <laughs> unlike someone, he actually either deals with it or talks it out. Eventually, I will find and read that entire miniseries, but that requires our local comic shops having it in stock, which I'm less than hopeful about. Until then, I will be busy swimming in my sea of delusions and headcanons. Yes, I know you can read it online, that's why I started reading it. I stopped because I couldn't see the words.
Thank you so much to those that stayed this long. Uh, Cheester and Skeetle for the fodder and the inspiration, and the dudes that came up with this angsty fuzz bucket. Marion, thank you to the two that created that freaking movie, though. Pick another group to recreate your high school Supergirl Brainiac AU with. Or, you know, just sticking in Wattpad like everybody else next time. Alright, that's all from me. Thanks again for watching. Let me know if I made any mistakes, and I will see y'all next time.